Sleepy going in, lively coming out. They be wondering what we talking about. Y'all will have to learn to appreciate greatness. Ever since I seen Saul Canelo Alvarez go up and destroy Sergey Kovalev, all I kept hearing was he don't want to have no dealings with uh, Duvall or better BF. So I said, let me go look at these guys and see what they all about. Duvall and better BF is the names I kept hearing, kept hearing, you know what I'm saying? Ever since Canelo lost to Floyd Bunny Mayweather, it was like he gonna have a problem with anybody with a good jab or a slick black fighter. Never mind that he, you know what I'm saying, handled uh, Isla Rilanda, Daniel Jacobs, things of that nature. But ever since he fought Sergey Kovalev, all I heard was he don't want to stick around and fight against better BF or Bivol, or he's going to have problems with a slick fighter. Billy Joe Saunders was a slick fighter. Broke his orbital bone, broke his eye socket. You know what I'm saying? Caleb Smith, Caleb Plant, slick fighters, tall fighters, good jabs. I look at uh, Duvall, bigger fighter naturally, technically sound, fundamentally sound, work behind the jab, and uh, could possibly win this fight. I'm for one to say we're gonna recognize greatness because now all of a sudden where I see him going back up to fight the guy y'all wanted him to fight, Bivol, now I'm starting to hear Canelo, Clam Buterol conversations all over again. His transformation is too unique. He's putting on too much muscle, too fast. It must not be natural. He must be cheating. People living in the past, I say recognize greatness. When greatness is in front of you, pay attention so you can understand what it looked like. Bye. Sleepy going in, Sleepy. lively coming out. They be wondering what we talking about.